All right, let's calculate the period and a horizontal shift when we have a few trigonometric functions. So on the first one, we have y equals six tangent of seven x plus 35. So to get the period, first of all, on each one of these, what you wanna do is you wanna start with the original period for the function. So in our case, we have a tangent, which has an original period of pi, and we're gonna divide by this multiple attached to the x on the inside. So pi divided by seven will be the period for our given function. Um, this would be the same computation if that was a cotangent because it starts with a period of pi as well. But on the second one, as we're trying to calculate this period, the original period for cosecant is going to be 2 pi, similarly to what it would be for uh, sine, cosine, and secant. So we're going to start with 2 pi, and we're going to divide by this multiple on the inside, divide by pi over 3 which is gonna be equivalent to taking two pi and multiplying by the reciprocal. So taking three over pi. We're allowed to cancel out these pi's. So two times three is gonna result in a period of six. Next up, our horizontal shift. When I'm doing these, what I like to do is factor out um, any multiple on the inside. So we can think of this as being six multiplied by the tangent of seven. And then I'm gonna put parentheses and factor out that common factor of seven. So we're going to leave that as x plus 5. 7 times 5, if you redistributed, would give you that 35. Now we can locate our horizontal shift is going to be this number that's attached directly to x on the inside of our trigonometric function. So in this case, we're moving 5 one way or the other. This kind of works counterintuitively to the direction you think it should. So adding 5 is actually going to move everything to the left, 5 units. All right, on the... The bottom one, it looks a little bit more complicated because we have that fraction going on. So this will be two times the cosecant, factoring out that pi over three, it's gonna result in x here, but then we have to think to ourselves, pi over three multiplied by what is gonna give us simply pi. So sometimes doing a little bit of side work is helpful here. But if I said, I'm looking for some number c, then when I multiply it by pi over three, it's gonna give me pi. We can set up a quick equation and solve this down if we need to. So multiply both sides by three and we get pi multiplied by C is pi times three. So a quick division by pi is gonna get C on one side all by itself and it will result in being three on the other side. So we can say pi over three multiplied by three will give us that pi back, all right. To finish this up, we are looking at this number that's attached directly to x here. And this time it's gonna move three units, but it's gonna to move to the right because we had a subtraction on the inside. And that kind of works counterintuitive to which direction you think it should. All right, so hope this helps out on finding the period and any horizontal shifts for trigonometric functions.